Sean Sewell with InGearMate.com. I've got a fun comparison between my three favorite 45 liter camera backpacks. We have the Peter McKinnon from Nomadic. This guy right here I've had for two and a half years plus. It's seen a lot of use. Uh, the newest one, the Prolite from Manfrotto, which is really impressive. And the one on my backpack that I used the most, the Peak Designs Travel 45 liter backpack. I have detailed independent reviews on all three's backpacks in case I miss anything, but there's, there's a lot to cover, a lot of similarities, a lot of differences, and hopefully in this video I help show you which one is right for you. So let's get into it. First and foremost, we'll start with sizing. I am six foot one, 215 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist. This is the Peak Design 45 liter. It is super attractive. Um, some of the features it has will be different than other backpacks. There is no hip belt. So uh, if you're gonna be backpacking with this pack, something to consider. The sternum strap is pretty minimal as well. The, the straps are very, very comfortable. Uh, there is no load lifter though, something to think about. But those, those three things I mentioned complaining about aside, this is probably my favorite for a lot of reasons. One is just extremely durable, well-made, waterproof, snowproof, rugged, adaptable, adjustable, attractive, versatile. There's a lot of good things I like about it. Let me show you how it works. So on the outside, we have different lash points in case you do want to attach anything additional to it. You get a pocket right here, nice and small, but it is great. It's got stretch to it. It's a nice place for um, batteries, sunglasses, keys, stuff like that. Quick access stuff. In this pocket right here is where we start to get really creative. Oh, this is such a cool design. All right, so right here we have a pocket that is burly mesh. This is not like um, typical nylon mesh. This is like a rubberized kind of mesh. So you can see what's inside. And then of course, as Peak Design does, just really cool organizational places, pens, papers, memory cards, stuff. Then stuff you don't want to show off, like eye drops. <laughs> we are, it's definitely dry in color. I don't, I rely on eye drops to keep the eyes moist. And then right here you have a similar kind of layout, kind of the secret stash pocket, then the um, visible pocket mesh air right here. What's cool about this is it actually is, allows you to get into the other side. And I'll show you this in a minute. This panel is kind of floating, so you can access these pockets from here or the other side. I'll have to show you. I'm talking about something that's not as cool as showing you. Let's get in there. So, oh boy, here we go. Oh, well, well, before we get there, you can access from this side, as you see right here, that I just did, and then you can access the, well, I have the large camera cube installed in here. You can do a large camera cube, medium camera cube, small camera cube, a medium and a small, a few smalls, or whatever the heck you want to do. But I just, I'll show you why I like the large in here. But then you have quick access right there to get to your camera. Um, <laughs> there's so many secret pockets. Uh, and I shouldn't tell you about secret pockets, but I'm going to. Secret pocket right here. Um, water bottle or tripod pocket right here. Carry handle right here. Same thing over here. Carry handle right here. Water bottle or tripod pocket. And then is there, yeah, there is. I don't use it, but there is a secret pocket. Um, one feature you'll see on the uh, Manfrotto is the ability to, to lash down additional straps here in case you have a larger tripod and you want to lash it down. That's a, a plus for the Manfrotto. But this, you know, I haven't had a problem carrying a lightweight carbon fiber tripod in here. Um, okay, let's, that's a quick access on that side. Oh yeah, same thing over here. You can quick access camera on this side. I don't use the quick access just because I access it like this. I go in, this is a back loader. So the cool thing about the back loader is if you are in bad weather, snow, mud, we deal with a lot, you put this side down in the snow and then your straps and your back don't get dirty because you open up like that. Does that make sense? Uh, and then you open up and you have your space for your laptops, tablet. I keep a dry erase board here. My wife suggests I start having better notes. <laughs> which I should, probably should instead of just going off the cuff. But um, that's what I keep right there. And then here is that large camera cube that I showed you. It's awesome. It's so awesome. Obviously you can store whatever you want in here. I've transported my stuff into a different case. I'll show you here in the next video. But I put the tech organizer pouch right here, lights, uh, 360 camera right here, 
Sony a7R4 oftentimes, extra lenses, so forth, and then I have a little bit of extra space right here, which is pretty cool. Now, I teased you like three minutes ago with how to double access stuff. Take that camera cube out, and then what do we, oh, snacks, sweet, snacks. I wonder where that went to. And of course, a sample from Patagonia. Most stuff we test is ahead of it coming out, so it's often samples. But here's the ingenuity of Peak Designs. Like I shared with you three minutes ago, access that pocket you have on both sides, which is cool. Like you can, you know, say you want to get in here, you can access this pocket here, or you can access the pocket here. So, okay, I kind of dissected that backpack for you enough. And hopefully some cool features jumped out to you to see why I like it so much. And it's just a big size and it's adjustable. That's another thing too. There's these snaps right here. Um, yeah, right here. And then you can attach them to each other and make this a smaller backpack. I find that it doesn't always work. It kind of pops out of place. But in theory, it would look like that as opposed to that. So you can see the snaps right there and it snaps into itself and becomes a more manageable backpack. Say you have your camera gear one day and the next day you want to just go for a hike with the family and you don't want to carry all the camera stuff, take the camera cube out and then you have a well, basically a 35 liter backpack. Okay, pop that back in there, put this back in here, get my snacks out of there. And these Peak Design camera cubes are my favorite. There's a lot of good camera cube systems out there. I just like the Peak Design personally. So there is the Peak Design 45 liter, super sexy, awesome backpack. Price on this guy is $299, actually the cheapest of the bunch. Next up, we'll go into the, the newest, to me at least, um, and the lightest, and probably the most well designed for carrying loads for a long time. This is the Manfrotto Pro Light. This is like the Peak Designs, super well engineered, especially for travel and carrying a load. Now I'll show you what I mean here. So I'll put it on. And this one is actually adjustable. Three different levels of adjustment. For reference, uh, I have a 19 and a half, 20 if I'm on a really good posture and cocky day. And this one has uh, adjustability for different size torsos. The hip belt is a hip belt. There's a hip belt. So this is gonna transfer load really well. Can adjust it right here, easy breezy. A little Velcro right here to keep it organized. There's a zip pocket right here on the side. On this side, you lash point for whatever, water bottle, glove, stuff like that. Sturm strap is nice. Very easy to adjust the height of it right there. Nice straps, and then this is very important to me, at least if you're carrying a load, load lifters. So this adjusts how close the backpack is to your body. So you can really dial in the fit for a heavier uh, gear. Transferring to the iliac crest, not so much on the shoulders and then getting the right torso adjustment. That's like real world backpacking stuff that applies to camera people and videographers because you're carrying a lot of gear and you might be on a location where you are not gonna be close to your vehicle or hotel or whatever and you need to move somewhere uh, safely. Proper load mechanics helps. You'll see TSA approved zippers because there's a lock, a built-in lock right here. <laughs> Man, Frodo, nail it. Built-in TSA lock right here. Goes through all of these little loops to dial things in and keep them nice and safe. Okay, I'm gonna get ahead of myself. Pocket by pocket. Like the Peak Design, a nice big pocket up front. Bigger pocket, so I actually put my wind jacket in here, snacks, keys, sunglasses, stuff like that. Nice zipper pulls. And then, so this is the only one of the three that I'm testing that is a front loader. So meaning these straps, the, the straps that would be on your body are now gonna go onto the ground and that ground may have the mud and the snow or whatever else. But if you're in the city or a, you know inside, who cares? Doesn't matter. You're gonna put it somewhere clean. I am not clean, I'm a dirt bag, which is why I have these backpacks. So to me, that is an opportunity. But they have other ones in the lineup that are back loading. I should have chose that. Okay, inside you get Two quick access pockets, no zippers. One zipper pocket right here. Nice padding. Comes with a tech pouch, which is really helpful. Uh, nice organization, as you can see right here. Good for cables, pens, knives. Uh, carry knives, tools. And then, you know, organizing on this side as well. And it will expand 
you know, out a bit, something like that. Mm -hmm. Stuff it right there. This divider is built in, so it's not the camera cube. You could take this whole thing out and put in the Peak Designs or Wandered or Nomadic camera cubes in here, whatever the brand is you choose. But this is actually a really cool material. It's stiffer and they say it's stronger. I don't know how you can measure that, but M guard stiffer and stronger and easier to manipulate as far as adjusting. Like it's just really easy to adjust. Um, I have it adjusted for my Sony A7 camera. I'm gonna remove these, keep it um, gimbal right here. I can put a drone in here, a lot of space, right? And if you want to, you can remove this whole thing. It's, it's Velcro throughout the whole unit. You could take it out and turn it into um, an everyday backpack if you want to. Hang on, there's more, loads more. And it's really cool layout too. Like I know it's a European company, I think Italian, but uh, they don't have to have the words. They just have pictures, a picture of a tripod. So you can put your tripod in here and then I'll show you how you can make sure that it stays in place. Again, the tripod picture, this cable came out of this hole that had the tripod. And now you can really secure down the tripod in the pocket here and here. Pretty cool, very thoughtful. Handle, handle, handle. And, um, the lock I showed you, hip lifter. Oh, then we get to a secret sauce. Well, be, before a secret sauce, I'll show you the, always important, laptop sleeve right here. There's two sleeves. I can get my laptop, uh, MacBook 14 inch with a case, as well as an iPad Pro in there. And then there is more. There is my zipper, there it is. Take this zipper all the way around. And boom, I just got about another inch and a half, two inches of space with a secret pocket that you can lock. And the secret pocket is nice and sizable. So here's the secret pocket, um, about, about yay wide, what is that, inch and a half, three centimeters, something like that. And it's padded, so a nice place for valuables, or you could put your laptop and stuff in there. Um, put this back the way he was. Okay, so that is the ProLite from Manfrotto, the front-loading version. There's a, other versions in the lineup. And going back when I uh, was working with them, I should, probably should have chose backloader for the kind of shooting that I do. And that would have solved that one issue I had there. So there is the Manfrotto. Next man up, the Nomadic, Peter McKinnon. This one I've had the longest, used the most, and I think is fantastic. And it kind of meets in the middle between those two humongous gel handle, which is oftentimes where I grab the most. Big gel handle, smaller handle right here, another handle right here, luggage pass-through, which is always important. You can luggage pass-through, as you can see right there. Humongous gel padded straps, load lifters, so you definitely can dial this in closer to your back, but no hip belt. So, let me show you on my person what it looks like. Again, Six foot one, 19 inch torso, 19 inch torso. I have it just as tight as possible because I used to carry a lot of load in here. No hip belt to disperse that weight though. So if you are a backpacker or hiker or hunter or whoever, you know that how important that hip belt can be when carrying significant amounts of load. Most people I know are not going, you know, miles with their camera gear. Well, that's not true. Some people I do know, and I would recommend the man photo for that. But for a lot of us, we're just grabbing it from the vehicle or the, wherever we are and transporting a few hundred feet. We can deal without the hip belt. Okay, let's start with the outside pocket. Big pulls, got the Peter McKinnon signature, the, the skull and bones, always entertaining. So in this pocket, oh, it was open. Super well organized, like really attractive. You can get fly the flag, <laughs> RFID safe, so you can put your passport stuff in here. Uh, dividers to keep things clean. Sizable, almost as big as the um, Nomadic. What do I have in here? Oh yeah, business cards from our last trade show. I, so how I use this backpack besides like everyday use was, uh, I think this was the last time I used outdoor retailer. I had uh, two cameras, two gimbals, business cards, snacks and water in here and it worked, worked great. Big pocket here. This is actually a very useful pocket. So in this pocket, I kept a gimbal um, uh, ATEM was A10 Ninja, uh, screen, batteries, um, you know, whatever I want to hear. Also for travel, this makes for a really good clothes pocket. You can keep things nice and organized, you know, use your imagination. Great zipper pulls. They all have great zipper pulls, but really great zipper pulls. And then, oh yeah, we can make it bigger too. This is like, 
like both the backpacks, they can expand. This is how you expand that. And so I kept it expanded so it could easily swallow up that gimbal right here. <laughs> and this is a backloader. So the benefit of that again, you're in the mud, stick the backpack in the mud, um, and you're, you're not gonna get this part dirty. Do -do, do -do -do -do. Oh, one more pocket here. This is the quick access laptop pocket right here. Nice size, not divided like the other two, but just a nice size, easy to access without having to open the backpack up. So the Peak Design, you had to open the backpack to get to the laptop. This one and the Manfrotto, you do not. Um, no TSA locks on this one, but they make it easily lockable. The holes right there. Significantly beefy zippers on this compartment. And this is after using it for two years. Definitely waterproof, weatherproof. And the simplest layout too. How I had it, you can see <laughs> um, a lot of clothes right here, camera, other camera, um, and then just miscellaneous stuff. And then in here is also a laptop sleeve or how I used it. I actually have a 15 inch monitor I use as well. I put the monitor in here and it worked really well. It's just a good looking backpack, easy to adjust. So gosh, we covered a lot here, haven't we? Um, I probably have missed some stuff, but hopefully I captured it in the detailed individual reviews. So. Uh, the McKinnon, Peter McKinnon Nomadic 45 is $399. So this is $399 for this guy, $299 for the Peak Design, and then in the middle, $350 for the Manfrotto. But there they are all together. You can see um, they're all really well made, all have really good zippers, really well thought out. Um, the Peak Design, I feel like, is really good everyday bag. I used it for six months straight. Um, I'm going to do a part two video because I love it so much and I find it so versatile as an everyday use, as well as a content creator, as well as a videographer, as well as just a dirt bag, a husband, a uncle. Like it just it, it really works really well. The Nomadic um, Peter McKinnon was great. I used this for two years plus and it was my go-to bag and became my secondary bag when this one came in and i always kept camera gimbal lenses battery monitors in here ready to go so i can hand it to my second camera person and be like here here's a whole kit ready to go waterproof just add just add food and water you're good to go this is the most recent one that came in and there's so many great features on this that i think it takes it takes a lot of the qualities of these guys and takes it into a lighter weight even more travel friendly and uh backpackable, meaning the hip belt, the load lifter adjustment, as well as the different levels on the sternum adjustment are just so helpful that it makes it a great choice for people who need to carry that camera gear far and comfortable. So they're all three really, really good. All three within $100 of each other, all three 45 liters, give or take. All three will carry your laptop, camera gear, clothes, technical gear, monitors, what have you. Um, all can handle the weather. They're all they're really good. But it depends on what do you want a backloader? Do you want one with a hip belt? Do you want one with the secret compartments? Do you want one that's adaptable and adjustable? Yeah, what's important to you? Let us know in the comments below which one you like, which one you use, what you like about it, what you wish it had, um, all that. Just share. We're all trying to get better here and learn from each other. Hope you found this video helpful. We'll have more of these coming up on gear reviews and gear comparisons. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke Fort and GearMint.com. Until next time, take care.